Hi, everyone. Uh, don't mind me looking all crazy right now. Uh, husband and I just got back from a run, so I wanted to make a video before I forgot. I realized as I was getting out my little exercise wig that I made a video saying I was going to try something out and then I never updated anybody on it. So, the last video I posted was about adding length and or maybe colors to a wig without actually chemically altering anything um, or magically pulling growing beans out of my pocket and using other hair to add to a wig to make it longer and different color, maybe. So this, let's see if I can figure out how to show you. This is the wig before I did anything. I'm pretty sure this is all its hair, its own hair. Um, but you notice it's kind of bubbled up there because <laughs> I added all of this, like basically here down with different hair. Now you can see the colors don't really go together or blend very well. Uh, I did that on purpose because obviously I took this wig that I got used at a very, very, very good price. A really good price. I couldn't pass it up. But I don't wear it all the time. I like the way it turned out. But it wasn't like a really, really expensive wig that after I did stuff to it, I was going to be worried about. So. What I did is I also have some leftover hair from when I used to wear extensions. And side note, I notice I do this a lot in my videos. If you watch me, it's probably annoying and I might just be picking it out myself. And now that I'm pointing it out, you're always going to see it. But I have this weird thing that I start talking like this. And when I'm really focusing on something, I just find myself going like this. It's like resting my lips on my braces. I don't know why I do it. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> but, sorry, I'm not doing it on purpose because I think it's cute. I honestly didn't even realize it was a thing I did until I started watching myself and realized I do that way too much. Back to hair. What I did was I took some cheap beauty, slot, beauty, beauty supply hair extensions like wefted hair that I think I bought as part of a kit to create a wig and I added them in to add that other hair in there, the longer hair, just to see how it would work out and how it would look and not being like committed to it or really spending a lot of time on something that I wasn't going to like to at the end of the day. I just used 30 second hair glue. Let me get it real quick. Okay. I might have to back myself up because uh, y'all know I have ADD and my medicines have worn off and I feel like I'm all over the place in this video so I'm just going to back myself up right now and start from the beginning. What I'm doing here, what I have done on one wig is I took a wig that has a silk base. So outside of this, like I think it's a 5x5, five five, maybe it's a 4x4 four four section um, of silk base around all of the hair going down to the nape of the wig cap. It has wefted hair, which that means wefted hair is this. And don't mind the glue that's on there, we're leftover glue. Um, but a weft of hair is basically strands of hair that have been sewn together to form a weft. And so people who make their own wigs or extensions, um, things like that, they will purchase like a whole long yard of this. Um, it will just like be all one long piece. Usually by bundles, they're termed bundles of hair that are wefted. So bundles of wefted hair. <laughs> and I used to wear extensions all the time. That I've worn extensions for like probably half my life, if not longer, because I'm getting old now. But, um, so I, when I learned that I could save money, instead of buying extensions that were already made with the clips, I would just go and buy wefted hair. So bundles of wefted hair. Um, and then I cut them, sew them together. And so, so like this and another one and another one, and then hand sew some clips on there. And then you could clip them in your hair. Or instead of clipping them, you can buy hair tape 
And that's how I am already familiar with hair tape before the whole lace front experience was because I used hair tape to tape um, wefts of hair into my hair. Um, it lasted a little bit longer than the clips. Or you could glue. I think I've done everything. You could, um, you can basically attach hair to your hair. So many different methods and I've tried them all and all the years that I've done extensions, I've had them braided in, I've had them glued in, I've had them, I think the only thing I haven't had done was like the ones that they take like a little micro link and then they fuse them into your hair. Those are the only ones I have not done. But because I have tried all of that and done all of these things, I already had some of this stuff on hand and so this is called Super Hair Bond Glue. And just to see how it turned out, because I didn't, I mean, honestly, if this were something I were going to do on one of my more expensive wigs um, or something with hair that actually like really matched and I thought would go together, I would probably spend the time, now that I know it will work and it looks good, I would spend the time to sew in the wefts of hair rather than use the glue. But if you're in a pinch, you're in a hurry, or maybe you just want to test it out with some wefted hair that you have in a wig just first before you get all committed and sew it. Here's what I did. So now we'll go ahead and go with this. I sectioned off the um, hair on the wig so that I could start at the bottom and then work my way up. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I think I'll probably have to do a longer um, a documentary, not a documentary. It's kind of hard to show you this on one that I've already done. So instead of going step by step, I'm just going to go ahead and show you kind of what I did. And then the next time I do this, which I am going to do this again because I've got a couple other short haired wigs that are great hair quality. I want to make sure that when I do it on my more expensive wigs that I know the quality of the hair that I'm putting in there. This one, since it was my test trial, it was a beauty supply store um, hair, which there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to say that there is, but I do know it was a cheaper quality hair that I got because it was in a specific kit. I'm not even gonna try and go down and explain that because I'm not trying to be snotty about any hair. Hair is hair, and at the end of the day, I love it all. It's just, if you put different textures of hair together, it's they're gonna stand out, that's all I mean. So I wanna make sure that I get the right texture of hair, that's what I'm trying to say, for that other wig that I'm gonna do this with. So I will do another video um, with more detail on this, but for now, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. And then I'll go ahead and show you some of this craftsmanship here. Again, I will um, do some more detail on this later, you know, showing you from beginning to end with a wig. But since I've already tried this out and I was walking by my camera, I thought I'd just go ahead and pick it up real quick and um, shoot an update showing you before I forget or before time goes by and I don't because I'm getting a new hair that I totally forgot I even ordered because I customized the order so it has taken um, several weeks to get to me. But I'm getting that tomorrow. So I know I'm gonna be completely sidetracked with that and thought I would update this before I forget. So this right here, what I have just pulled up while I was rambling is hair that was um, sewed onto this wig cap by the manufacturer. And this little blonde piece here, little blondie girl, is a weft of hair like this that I put this 30 second bonder, glue bonder on and then held. And so I put it like if I were going to put another one on, I would put it somewhere in the in between. So I'd part the hair so that I could see where two lines of um, hair meat and then I'd use a little clippy clip and I'd um, pull all of this hair up and then I would apply the glue to this and then I would hold it and it is it really is 30 seconds long you know for it to attach and then I'd hold that uh, hair right exactly where I want it to be bonded and I just go all the way across I start at the nape that's what I did with this start at the nape and then work your way up you don't necessarily have to fill in every gap with hair. It's just gonna be something that you might wanna toy around with before you either attach with glue or um, you know, get too committed to. Just kind of try out a couple of different things. Maybe buy at beauty supply stores. They do have um, little clips that you can use for clipping extensions. 
but they have a little row on the bottom that you can like just clip the hair into so you don't even have to sew the hair onto those clips and then that might be a good way or maybe use like a bobby pen or something like that to kind of just bobby pin your hair where you think you might glue or sew it and then that would be another good way for you to be able to try out what it would look like if you were to add different wefts of hair different colors different textures different lengths just play around with it but i did want to show you again like i've said a couple times probably wanted to show you the end result and i didn't take it all the way to the top so that's why it's not really as blended from up here to what you can see down here but i mean even for the fact that the the textures don't match and the colors don't really match i think it still looks pretty good so yeah that's that i will do a more detailed video on another one that i do and this time i'll capture the moments in me um doing it all the way through but Friday also I'm going to have a video about my Jewish wigs only that is on route to me right now I think it's in Alaska it's like Santa tracker you know like um I don't know if anybody has kids or maybe they just like to they don't have kids but they enjoy it themselves or some for some other reason maybe they're animals they're for pets if you ever look at the Santa tracker that they've got out there um like right before Christmas, you'll see Santa like overseas and you'll see him like in all these different locations. And then, oh my goodness, he's almost to your house. And my kids all freak out. And uh, my little baby one, my little baby one, my little baby Ellis, um, last year he had so much fun with it. I mean, he asked for like weeks after Christmas, mommy, let's find out where Santa's at. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Uh, but he was so excited. So that's how I am with my hair um, with the like the FedEx tracking I'm like, where's the hair at now? Has it left China? Oh, oh my gosh, it's in Alaska. Oh, it's made it to the States Okay, that's all I have for you. I Will see you next time